Welcome to Lone Tar YouTube videos. Making a bootable USB RDX RD1000 device with Lone Tar for backups and disaster recovery. Part 2. Setting up the device within Lone Tar Device Manager. First thing we want to do is go into the Lone Tar main menu, type in LT menu. Select option number 9 for device manager. Select A to add a new device. Then select number 9 for a mounted device. <clears throat> Type in the alias of the device name that you are using. Now it's asking for the mount point. This directory must exist. Begin with a forward slash. For the block factor, I'm going to choose the recommended option number two for 64. Please select cap the capacity of your drive. In this case, mine's one terabyte, so I'm going to do option O. And for the compression level, I want the highest compression level to utilize the most amount of backups. I'm going to do option number two for BZIP2 compression. And then for the mount command, based on the examples below, this is a USB RDX drive. So I'm going to use the mount minus T EXT3 slash dev slash SDB. Add the number three at the end of the device name. Very important. Space in the mount point. The three is important because in this part three of this video, you're going to see why we have to add the three. And then I always answer yes to this. You always want to unmount the device after it's done. And then for the rotation, I'm going to specify my own amount of days because I want to have a two week rotation. And I can specify that by just telling Lone Tar to have 14 days in rotation. And always answer yes to this to make it for disaster recovery since we are making this a bootable backup media. And that's it.